Good morning, boys and girls. I am Professor Hortense Theodora Fenwick III, and I'm here for a fun experiment. And it's really easy to get the stuff for this experiment. I listed it on our Facebook page last week. So if you have it, you can do this with me. But if you don't, you can do it later or just watch. So what I have here is some vinegar, some baking soda, a lighter. You can use a wide glass instead of a mason jar. I have a birthday candle and I stuck my birthday candle in the middle of this jar by chewing gum and putting the gum in the bottom of the jar and sticking the candle in it. It sticks really well. I also have a pipette, which is very cheap on Amazon, but you don't have to use that. I also have a spoon and an eyedropper or a pet syringe that you've used to give your pet medication would work. So what we're going to do is see what a fire needs and we're going to make some CO2 gas and see if that's what the fire needs. So a fire needs three things so that it can burn. It needs oxygen, heat, and fuel. So what do you think a common type of fuel is? Of course, a lighter, yes. And if you're lighting a fire in the fireplace, you probably use wood. So it also needs oxygen, and they call this the fire triangle because a triangle has three sides, good, and each one of these things is on the fire triangle. And so we also need heat. So we're going to have to use a lighter. Uh, your stove has heat, flame has heat. Also, sometimes when people rub two sticks together, that makes heat because of friction. So what we're going to do is get started. So I have sprinkled baking soda all around this candle in my jar, and I have got a lighter. I'm going to light my candle with this lighter. Okay, so I have a lit candle here, and baking soda is what we call a base, and vinegar is what we call an acid. So let's see what happens when we combine an acid and a base. So here's my vinegar, and I'm just going to drip it in. And I can hear a lot of bubbling and fizzing. So what do you think is going to happen to my flame? Did you see that? Is that magic? The flame went out. Hmm, well, I mixed vinegar and acid and baking soda, a base, in a jar while there was a flame. So the flame needs oxygen and it needs fuel. So it had fuel. It needs heat and it was hot. So what happens here, boys and girls, is that when you mix vinegar and acid with baking soda, a base, it makes CO2 gas. And CO2 gas smothers the fire because the fire can't get oxygen. So that is our experiment today. If you're going to try this at home, please do it with an adult and be very careful. And if you're spooning it in, you just have to be careful not to spoon it right onto the flame. You could use a narrow squirt bottle. There's all kinds of things that you can use to do this. So have a great week and we'll hope to see you soon. And we're working on summer reading challenges right now and we're hoping to get those up June 1st. Thanks, see you soon.